leaders are awaiting Iran's next move after Israel's early morning response to the launching of 300 Iranian drones and missiles towards Israel this past weekend. Tonight, neither side is confirming Israel was behind today's attack, but Iran says it did not do any damage. Fox's Trey Yingst has the latest from Tel Aviv. Israel taking aim and firing inside Iran, hitting it in retaliation after Iran fired 300 missiles and drones at the Jewish state last Saturday. A U.S. official says Israel struck near a major Iranian air base and nuclear site about 200 miles south of Tehran. Iranian state media says there was no damage to their facilities. It's sending a message to Iran. Uh, they, Iran knows full well that Israel can strike any place inside of Iran. Israel's counterattack was a limited missile strike and did not involve manned aircraft. The U.S. was not involved but was notified beforehand. I know there's a lot, a lot of interest in reports from the Middle East overnight. And we understand that, we get that. Uh, I'm going to say it now, uh, though I know you all will, will certainly ask me about it, uh, that we do not have any comment uh, on the reports at this time. Meanwhile, dozens of activists denouncing Israel's war in Gaza at Columbia University on Friday. On Thursday, police arrested more than 100 people at the campus on suspicion of criminal trespass during a pro-Palestinian demonstration. Students at several other schools are planning similar rallies in solidarity with the Columbia University demonstrators. Here in Tel Aviv, it's life as usual as people prepare for the Passover holiday that starts on Monday. In Tel Aviv, Trey Inkst, Fox News.